you think is going on with Israel? Well, Israel actually is a, a very interesting situation in that it is both the best of science and the worst of times. And what I mean by that is they only have a segment of their population vaccinated. They have a relatively high percentage not vaccinated. Well, um, I thought they were one of the most vaccinated countries in the world. Well, they are among the vaccinated. That's the whole point. They are actually where they're now doing fourth doses among many people. But if you look at the recent uh, big uptick in cases they had, it was almost all in unvaccinated people. I don't, that's not what I read. Oh, I read is, this whole is. thing about vaccinated people in Israel. Like that there was a giant surge there, of vaccinated the surge, people No, the surge is COVID. primarily in, and I don't have the numbers in front of me, but the surge is primarily in unvaccinated people. There surely was an increase in cases in, in vaccinated people who had had three doses. That's why they went to four doses for older populations, et cetera. But uh, the real burden, the, the major thrust in this surge uh, in Israel was, in fact, unvaccinated people. That's confusing to me because I'm okay. almost positive that I read something that was talking about the confusion that they're having because of the amount of vaccinated people that have been infected with COVID and that it's a giant percentage of the cases. I didn't read anything about it being primarily unvaccinated people. I just did that. Can we see if we can find something. Yeah, on that? go ahead. I just did that in my own podcast, by the way. OK, I just did a cover. I covered that about two weeks ago and I actually had the numbers in front of me and actually went through what percentage were unvaccinated, what percentage were vaccinated. Clearly, the, unvaccinated, the vaccinated did see increased numbers of cases, but the surge was really covered by the unvaccinated. So there's an enormous surge, but it's because of unvaccinated people. Yes. We can look it up. Huh. See, that is so confusing to me because I was almost positive that I'd read that a, an enormous percentage, like a very high percentage of the people that were new cases that were infected with COVID oh. were vaccinated. And they were increased. But again, the big surge itself, and particularly in hospitalizations and deaths, were oh. unvaccinated people. We can get it here looked up here. Yeah, we're going to find Good. it. See what you, whatever you can find, Jamie. You got anything? Sort of. Sort of? <laughs> I mean, I can think it gets – here's the first thing I found, which I don't know, like the, the – efficacy of this analysis of covid vaccine breakthrough infections in highly vaccinated israel okay a recent study published in uh what does that say med rxiv preprint server researchers evaluated yeah. model age structured cases of severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 um vaccination this... coverage and breakthrough infections to do this the researchers data ministry of health bah, 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 bah. I, know, so I don't know if this this is, is an older piece yeah this broke like this is the guy, like the guy you're talking to is the guy. He is the COVID guy. You know he is the COVID guy because you've had him on your broadcast as the COVID guy. Okay? So how are you going to fucking turn around and then be like, huh, the COVID guy that I had is, is fucking saying that the, the, <laughs> the COVID guy that I'm having on the broadcast specifically to talk about COVID is telling me that the Facebook posts I read about uh, uh, COVID is wrong. Pull that shit up, Jamie. Like this motherfucker didn't have a peep to say when he had on uh, those other psychos. Okay. Those actual psychos. It's just really fucking biased, dude. It, it is. It's just straight up biased. How are you going <laughs> to... How are you going to pull that shit up, Jamie? Fucking Michael Osterholm, dude. How are you going to pull that shit up, Jamie? Michael fucking Osterholm. This doesn't give it to you. This is yeah. January 13th. Yeah, but I mean, it's in terms of the Omicron surge, there's more data that's come out on that issue. Right, but this is only a month old. Yeah, I know, but I'm, if you look here. Uh, I guess Google then. Unfortunately, my research assistant's outside the door. He actually has the papers in hand. <laughs> so. Well, let's um, see what we can we'll, find we'll get you. We'll anyway. get you the data and show you that, okay? Uh,
Dude, think about how seriously they're taking this shit, by the way. Like, dude, dude. He literally has, like, research, ready to fucking go. That's wild. Like, they... The American government... This is the American government taking Joe Rogan, podcaster extraordinaire, seriously. So seriously that... Um, so seriously that they're, like, ready to go. Ready at the fucking helm with research that they've brought over with research they brought over specifically so they can convince Joe Rogan like that's what it's that's what's necessary at this point to deal with this misinformation how crazy how crazy is that do you think he knew who he was bringing on yeah of course he knows he had okay I've been very fucking fair to Joe Rogan, uh, unlike all of my haters who are never charitable to me. I've been so goddamn charitable to Joe Rogan, even throughout this entire fucking process. Okay? The thing is, he had Michael Osterholm on way before anyone else did. Motherfuckers think I'm too charitable to Joe Rogan. But he had Michael Osterholm on way before anyone else. Like, in the beginning of COVID. He had him on, so of course he knows Michael Osterholm is, is one of the main people. Not only that, but then, like... Uh, not only that, but, but also, uh, he had... He, I mean, he, yeah, he agreed with him. Oh, my brain is, like, not functioning anymore. This is staged to retroactively make it look good for converting some hogs. And that you can take a look at that. Uh, that's an, old, that's an old one. That's an old one. That's an old one. Okay. Let's, yeah. Yeah. You got to have what's a in late January. First, let's go to that January one and see what it says, though. Okay. But even if that's like wrong, this dude is my favorite to be Is this hard to see your nipple boy site Facebook memes or his COVID expert, but Oscar Holmes is at least uh, willing to fucking call out nipple boy branded bullshit? No, he did a really. I think he did a really good job uh, on this podcast uh, from what we saw. We're going to watch yeah. that. It is an analysis, and we only looked at the top. About the study. <laughs> yeah. The following data sources received, okay, March 21st to November. Also, this is not, Joe Rogan is not nipple boy, okay? He's nipple man. November 6th, 2021, da 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 Proportions of the various types of variants and concerns were also confirmed throughout the course of the study. The vaccinated class divided into five stages to mimic the diminishing of See, immunity. See, these are all vaccinated people. Mm -hmm. This is not the unvaccinated. So you have what we're looking for are data that will actually talk about the number of unvaccinated. So what this right. study is doing is an important study. What it's looking at is among the vaccinated who had breakthroughs. Saying. Right. Okay. So maybe we can Google what percentage of people that have COVID in Israel are vaccinated. COVID and Omicron. Okay. So Omicron, which is uh, the mo how much more infectious is Omicron than than um, the uh, the Alpha variant or the Delta variant? Well, for the record, the breakthrough cases have actually increased, or not, uh, the breakthrough percentages increased with Omicron, and not only that, but also the hospitalizations. I believe the percentage of hospitalizations increased with Omicron as well. Um, I think part of it is because uh, part of it is probably because the efficacy of the um, the efficacy of the, the vaccines are diminishing. Like a lot of time has passed since they took the double shots. Um, so that's the reason why you are now seeing a larger percentage of people who did not get boosted, uh, a larger percentage of people who did not get boosted actually end up in the hospital, especially if they're like older. Um, so there is that, that uh, problem. Well, it's estimated to be at least two to three times more infectious than Delta, and Delta was two to three times more infectious than Alpha. I had, I had heard it was way more infectious than that. Yeah, that's roughly just, what we've got. Just guesswork? Well, two to three is a lot. How do they guess that? Is like, is it dependent on... It's a, a scale based on, <coughs> say, if you're infected, how many people you'll infect? Yeah, how many... It looks look particularly at households and drug contacts that look at that, and that's really the primary way to get it. There's not a way you can like look at the actual virus itself and no. say, oh, this is like measurably more infectious. No. So it's basically in how many people it infects. Yeah, that's it. It's a real experience of what happens with it.
in in the same setting between the different variants, what does it mean? You got anything? <clears throat> the first thing I found. <laughs> Come on, Jamie. Pull that shit up, University Jamie. What the fuck, dog? We're getting fucked over here. We're getting ass fucked over here, Jamie. What the fuck? Homie, give me something good. God damn it. <laughs> give me something. Anything. Um, it, it was blocked, but it said before blocked, it said that 40% of the population in Israel is, un, is unvaccinated. Yep. But 40%? It, yep. Again, it's, Why did I see, like, I see read I that it was 80% that were vaccinated. Uh, is that true? No, that's right. 40%? That's exactly what, yeah, that's exactly, and that's the group that really had so contributed. I clicked on this. It's yeah. going to disappear real quick. See, it said it. But, yeah. Sorry. Uh, you got, you have the right stuff there. I'll try though. to find it. That is the right piece. Yeah. <laughs> That's the right piece, but it doesn't make Joe look good. <laughs> I don't know why he thinks like this is the this is the main problem I always have with skeptics, right? I talk about this all the fucking time. Skeptics are often incredibly critical of mainstream sources, which is fine. Like that's understandable, especially if you have like recognized the personal bias that a mainstream source might have. Like, I don't know, delivering uh, State Department propaganda, like the American media has historically done this, so it's it's reasonable to be skeptical of it. But that doesn't mean you're going to all out just th cast it aside, okay, as I don't, and you know this. Um, This is like a part of my media literacy that I explain regularly, right? But also, the more important part about it is that these motherfuckers are never skeptical of like independent sources that that just confirm their biases. It's always so funny when they turn around and they're just like, I don't trust mainstream media, but this fucking Facebook post, well, that one, that's got the real shit. That's got the goods. I will never, I will never double question. I will never second guess a Facebook post that I saw. Yeah. I can get it on yeah. the archive yeah. thing. So... But anyway, I think the it's, message. So that means I think the Israel's message, only got sixty percent of their population vaccinated. Yeah, I thought it was way higher than that. No, so I think the message though lags behind on COVID. Forty percent of Israelis have no protection against COVID. Yeah. But isn't that? Oh, it's the Omicron variant. It says yeah. right. But how does that work then? I mean, right. Is is that because Omicron evades the protection of the original vaccine? It does, and it also evades the protection so is, but of is previous that, infection. But is that like? Put that article up again. It, the way they're phrasing that is that a manipulation of language? Because if it's saying forty percent of Israelis have no protection against COVID Omicron variant, but are they vaccinated from the original variant? Because if they're they, saying they, that they don't have they, any protection, are they saying that because they don't have protection because they've not they don't have antibodies for it, or are they saying they haven't been vaccinated? I can't tell you what that headline is saying there. All I it's can weird, though, right, yeah, the yeah, way they're yeah, phrasing yeah. it? All I'm telling you is is that if you look at the proportion that had no vaccine, those that had full vaccination but no booster, that's what they were trying to compare. So this is what, that is what they're saying. So look, it says 1 million refused the booster, yep. while just 110,000 out of 1.2 million young kids got the vaccine. That's a lot of language there. Yeah. I originally found something when I was looking that said that uh, this is back in the end of the summer that 90, not, enough doses had been administered in Israel to get 99.3% of the population vaccinated. Yeah. That's enough to, but it doesn't mean that they were. No, well, see, it, the it's, thing it's also because they also counted a dose to person. And if you get two and three doses, you take it away from somebody else. So well, merely they, having 100 million doses and 100 million people doesn't mean you have 100 million people vaccinated. Well, they also don't count you being vaccinated if you're not boosted. Well, they do, but they don't count it as fully vaccinated. Right. You, yeah, but yeah. You have, they have a green card situation or yeah, what, yeah. whatever they – what is it? The, what's their term that they use? I don't know what it is. So th with them, you, have, you must be boosted to be termed fully vaccinated, is it correct? Right. So when looking, this is what yeah. pops up <clears throat> for what percentage is vaccinated. But it's like enough is, to have vaccinated 99% of the country's population, but it doesn't mean that they did it. Exactly. Okay. So you said that Omicron, so part of the thing, the reason why that article was phrased that way is because Omicron evades the protection of the vaccine. It does evade protection of vaccine, and it evades the protection from previous infection at a level so, that the other variants hasn't done. If that's the case, then what is the benefit of getting <clears throat> vaccinated now? Oh, there's still very substantial protection, but it... 
I feel like Michael Osterholm, I don't know. Maybe it's because like I, I feel like uh what's his face has like really destroyed his credibility kind of uh or or had to be like the fucking um had to basically be like the the person who uh is the fall guy almost uh Fauci that I feel like Michael Osterholm is doing a better job at communicating this stuff than Fauci is Show is like your chatters on Russia. Never listen to what is being said. Just looking for a gotcha moment. Yeah. What but I if, mean you, by if, it, if it's evading the protection of the vaccine, what is the protection it gives you? Well, again, let me point out, these are numbers I said before. If you just look in this country for the issue of, how, uh, with, this is during Omicron. If you look at deaths, again, the point I made earlier, if you're unvaccinated, your rate is about 9.74 per 100,000 population. 9.74. If you're fully vaccinated, it's 0.71. But if you're fully vaccinated with a booster, it's 0.01 per 100,000. But how is that possible if it evades protection of the vaccine? If you well, said 100% of all the cases that nearly 100% are now Omicron, yep. but Omicron evades the protection of the vaccine. But not for everyone. It reduces it. So what we're talking about... It reduces the protection yeah, yeah. of the vaccine? Yeah. So, for example, with the booster, you can boost it back up. If you look at, for example, fully vaccinated, two doses, or you look at it versus two doses plus what some would call the booster, you had eight times as much protection with full vaccine and that booster than you did just full vaccine. From Omicron? Yep, yep. So then how is it not protecting you from the va Then how is it evading the, the, the vaccine? It, well, the evasion is not complete. It's, it, it's limited. So if you take something from 95 percent. What do you think is going on? Did we not have the basics? Like, did Joe Rogan just like lose lose the the conversation about basics, where you know risk reduction, harm reduction, lower like an efficacy rates lowering as time passes because the vaccine efficacy is diminished over time, especially with new variants coming out that are way more infectious. For example, I, like I I don't I don't get the the fucking. I don't get the the weird shit that the, he has to constantly can like people have to constantly contend with whenever they're having a conversation with him about vaccines, even if it's like a straight up. <laughs> yeah, explain this, guys. Imagine thinking I'm I'm fucking uh, anti Ukraine, and then explain this, huh? Explain this. Exactly. Here I am, literally defending, literally defending Kiev with Babushka. With Babushka. Yeah, you have no, you have no explanation, okay? You have no explanation for this. You fear, you fear that I am trained by the Azov Battalion, okay? Azov Battalion, more like the Azan Battalion. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's how much I love Ukraine, that I trained with the Nazis, dude. Hey, it's fine. Fine, guys. It's just, it is what it is, you know? What is this? What? Thanks, Wapo. I remember this next time I'm interviewing a mother whose son or daughter has been shot dead in the street due to the war on their doorstep. Actually, this is good for Western economies. In the long run, wars make us safer and richer. What? No fucking shot. Oh, this is from 2014. God, what a bunch of monsters. Are you fighting for the Turks in Ukraine? Dude, I'm fighting to, to bring Crimea back to uh, Turkey, to Turkish uh, land, okay? All of Ukraine technically could be Turkish if you will it enough, okay? And all of Russia belongs to Ukraine. 
therefore all of what uh, this is what you wanted to show me I quote though Majid Nawaz leaves Joe Rogan's speeches by explaining how the World Economic Forum is infiltrating governments around the world. Wait, what? When is this from? I don't really care about this, though. Honestly, I don't really give a shit. Being real. Maybe maybe Joe will get better um at his his uh, fucking takes after the Osterholm thing. Just to see that Rogan has learned nothing from his convo. Wait, wait, really? Okay, this is from two days ago. Oh, no, on his uh, you see it. Our teams are now embedded in governments around the world. That's actually what they wrote. Yeah. Why did he have Majid Nawaz on? Like, he's, like, also dripless. And the video is two minutes. I didn't play all of it. It's what he says. But what he's saying there sounds reasonable. Yeah. Figuring out on strategic ways to end the lockdown is. easily. No, that makes the, sense? Not the end of lockdown. No, no, no. Well, no. Didn't he say that? Yeah. Isn't Majid Nawaz, like, literally fucking the, the, the weirdo, like, Islamophobe dude am I am I mistaking him for someone else isn't he like the fucking ex like Islamist guy who now has made like basically all of his money being like all Muslims are fucking crazy and they just want to like suck your blood and murder you and then all the fucking Islamophobes are like that's true this guy he's an ex Muslim and the unfortunate fucking the the unfortunate reality is that like uh you know he is i mean he's he's like the blair white you know what i mean he's he's the he's the blair white of of moderate uh people who want to have like a moderate approach to islam but then end up fucking having a reactionary take keep in mind tony blair is the one who's been advocating for vaccine passports digital identification through covid and all of these measures but didn't they say that about ending the lockdowns and keeping businesses once those measures are in place Right, so he's even in the UK, his stance has been, yeah, we're going to get out of all of it, but you have to have digital ID mm. and you have to have. So, so during and the war, then this is going to introduce the, t the, the social credit score system. Right, so the, what, all of that came from your question, which is regardless of intention, how do people, how do people do that infiltration from within? It's not just Twitter. So back to the psychological operations, it's also embedding people in government who are subscribed to this agenda. Yeah. And the agenda of Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum is the same as the agenda of Tony Blair in this regard. They call it on their own website. They call it the Great Reset. That's what they say themselves. Yeah, that's a bizarre thing to do to yeah. openly. Why do you think they openly discuss it that way and openly? Because the Great Reset has always been this gigantic conspiracy theory yeah, yeah. among the online folks. Yeah. Like, this is all part of the Great Reset. Well, yeah. when he wrote a fucking book called The Great Reset, you're yeah. like, hey, man, yeah. shouldn't you be hiding this? And, and, and in 2017 at Harvard, he's saying, you know, we're going to basically, all of these world leaders will penetrate their cabinets with our young global leaders. He's open. At this. He's open. Blair's open. During the Iraq war, Blair tried to bring in ID cards in Britain. He failed. Now he's back and he's trying to bring in digital ID during COVID. Right. So they're open about it. So this is going to be this never ending process to slowly move the goalposts. <laughs> this is just so stupid, dude. Um, now he's back. Why? This is like Alex Jones conspiracy theories that they're like actively pushing. And he's trying to bring in digital ID during COVID, right? So they're open about it. So this is going to be this never-ending process to slowly move the goalposts. Towards more and more authoritarianism. Checkpoint society. It's all there. They, you, they how, told us this. We ha People have to realize this, right? This is important. Yeah. Making the same face Tucker Carlson makes? Huh. 